everyone, my name is Joella. Thanks for joining me today for Total Body Conditioning. We're gonna get started in just a second. Um, so I designed this workout so that you don't have to use any equipment if you don't want to, um, or if you don't have it at home. Uh, but if you do have an exercise mat, uh, it might come in handy. Well, no, it will come in handy, just to make things a little more comfortable when you go down to the floor. However, if you don't have one, that's totally okay. You don't have to have one. Um, you can use a towel or a blanket or something like that if you have a hard floor, or if you're on carpet, you're probably fine. Just make sure if you do have a towel or blanket or something like that on a hard floor that you don't um, d that you don't slip around. So just be really aware of that and careful with that. Um, if you have hand weights available at your house or wherever it is that you are quarantined, um, you can use those as well. But again, um, I won't be using any, uh, but I will tell you where where you can use them if you have them. Um, Besides that, just please make sure that you're listening to your body. Don't do anything if it causes you any sort of pain or discomfort. Um, you know, it's your workout, so do what feels right for you. Uh, and then, as always, again, please make sure that you've checked with your doctor before starting a new exercise routine. So we're gonna get started with a little warm up here. You can just start with your hands and your hips. We're just gonna do some heel taps. Just gently beginning to move, opening up the backs of our legs. Four, three, two, hug your knees in. Ooh, tripped on my mat a little. And of course, if you're used to working out with music, I can't really play music over Instagram and YouTube, but uh, if you want to turn on some music at, at home, that would be great. We'll do four, three, two, last one. Let's do a wide toe tap, arms open out. Or sorry, step touch. I'm watching my cat there in the background. <laughs> Not sure what she's doing. We'll do four, three, two. Now here's the wide toe tap, arms come across. It's warming up our spines. She's going to knock down the base. Sorry, keep going. I <laughs> saw that base going crash into the floor in my mind. Okay, we'll do four, three, two, last one. Let's do some squats. Nice and shallow, hips sink back, stand it up. Still just warming up. Let's make sure our hips are going back, our knees are staying behind our toes. We'll do four, three, two, last one. Let's do all that again. So heel taps. We'll do four, three, two, hug your knee in. today. Um, so we're going to be alternating toning exercises with some cardio exercises and we're going to do it almost in like a ladder format. So we're going to move up a list of exercises and then back down that same list. Then depending on how long that takes us, we might go up and down again. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be doing some squats. Um, we're going to 
going to be tapping our elbows down to our knees and then pressing our arms up overhead. This is, would be, if you have weights, you can hold them right here in your hands. We're going to start with 10. So squatting it down, hips sink back, elbows tap down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, making sure our knees are staying behind our toes, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, tap it down. All right, for our cardio, we're going to do 10 squat jumps. So squatting it down, jumping up, 10, 9, 8, 7, landing with bent knees, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, give me a step touch. Next, we're going to do lunges. We're going to do 10 on the right, 10 on the left with a lateral raise. Again, if you have weights, you can hold them in your hands here. If you don't have weights at home and you want to add a little something extra, you can use water bottles, cans of soup, anything like that. You just want to make sure that whatever weight you have, it's the same in each hand. All right, right foot forward, left foot back. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me a little better. Feet are on railroad tracks here, but spread out. Hips will go straight down so that that front knee stays behind your toe. Arms opening out to a T, like to the side. All right, 10 on the right. We'll do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. All right, other side, I'm going to face you for this set. Left foot forward, right foot back. Hips are going straight down, knees staying behind that front toe. 10, 9. Think of the actions that your muscles would be doing if you were holding those weights. So shoulders down and back. Hands clasp like they're around weights. For five, four, three, two, last one. All right, so this next cardio exercise, we're going to lunge it down, tapping our inner ankle, so left hand to right inner ankle, and then jump. Tap, jump, all right? 10 on each side. So we'll do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can always take out that jump if the impact's a little too much for you. Make sure you're landing with a bent knee and that that front knee is not reaching out in front of that front toe. Other side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Tap it down. All right, step touch. All right, next we are going to do plie squats with a forward raise. So legs are going to be wider than hips distance apart. Man. With <laughs> wider than hips distance apart, I can talk. Toes and knees pointing out to the sides, like if you were in a square room towards the front corners, so that when you go down, you're lifting from your inner thigh so that you can see your big toes in front of your knees. Hips go straight down. So from the side, hips are going straight down. You're not sticking your bum out, okay? Chest stays lifted. The forward raise, you can hold a weight between your hands, one weight either side, or you can hold two, one in each hand. But if you're not using weights, we're just gonna pretend and have our hands in fists. So we'll do 10, coming right up to shoulder height. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, making sure your 
your breathing. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do some skis. We did these um, last week if you saw that video, but we're gonna jump from side to side and then that, like jumping to the right, your left foot's gonna come out behind you, jump over to the left. Make sure that you have enough room behind you or around you, you're not gonna kick anything. The wider you jump, the farther you jump, the higher you jump, the harder it's gonna be. So low impact would just be a little step touch here. You want the higher impact jump out to the side. So we'll do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, next exercise is gonna be a squat with a lateral leg lift. So, hips sink back, knees are gonna stay, again, behind our heels, behind our toes. So your hips are really going backwards, and then we're gonna lift our leg. We'll do 10 to the right, 10 to the left. Lifting up about a foot, so that our knee and toe is still pointing forward, and we're using our glute medius, our outer hip muscle, rather than letting our toe and knee point up, where we begin to use our hip flexors a little more. So, Standing feet hips distance apart, maybe slightly wider. You're gonna squat and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Squat it down, stand up, other side. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, squat it down, stand up, step touch. All right. Last cardio, and then we're gonna work our way back down the ladder. We're gonna do 10 burpees. So, a few options here. Give me a step touch while I'm talking so your, your heart rate doesn't go down and your body doesn't start to cool. But, your options. You're gonna bend down, bend your knees, hands come to the floor. First option would be to step your feet back, step them in, and stand up. The next harder option, hands down, jump back, jump in, stand up. The next harder option would be jump back, push up, jump in, jump. All right, so you pick what's gonna work best in your body today. Take any of those options. We're gonna do 10 in your own, in your own time. When you're done with your 10, come back to a step touch. All right, the front of your mat. Let's start with our first burpee. 10 in your own time. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Right here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
nine, eight, knees and toes pointing forward, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, right to the other side, squat it down and lift, squat, lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, squat it down, stand it up, step touch, all right, back to those skis. So we'll do 10, left and right, wider the jump, the higher your heart rate's gonna get. All right, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, each side, step touch. All right, plie squat with the forward raise. Feet wide, toes and knees pointing forward. Arms are gonna come right up to shoulder height and back down. Starting here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, we're gonna do the lunge with the jump now. So right foot forward, left foot back, 10 on each side, tapping it down, left hand comes to the inside of that right hip, or ankle, excuse me, jump up. You can take that jump out if you need a lower impact option. All right, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. All right, tapping it down, right hand to left ankle for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, tap it down, stand it up. All right, back to those lunges, the lateral raise. Again, weights can be in your hands or not. Right before, left foot back. Making sure your hips are going straight down so that your front knee is staying behind your toes. Feet are spread out a little bit here to give you a little more stability so they're not on the tightrope. Taking a deep breath. 10 here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Other side. Left foot forward, right foot back. Coming down for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, those squat jumps. So we're gonna squat it down and jump 10 times. Again, you can take out that jump if you need a lower impact. Just come up on your toes, squat it down, knees behind your toes. 
If you're jumping, land with bent knees. Do 10 here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job. Step touch. Take some deep breaths. We're going to do those squats with the overhead press. So tapping our elbows down to our knees, pressing it up and down. Feet slightly wider than hips distance, knees staying behind your toes, chest stays lifted. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. All right, step touch. We did it. We went up and back. I think at the very least we're going to go up again. We're probably going to have time to come back. So we'll take a few deep breaths here and start back with our squats and our overhead press. Let's give me three more deep breaths. In and out, in and out, in and out. All right, feet slightly wider than hips distance. Hands up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, squat it back down. Give me a little tap, and we'll do those squat jumps. Ten, at your own pace, landing with bent knees, not taking that jump if you need it. Hands can stay right here, and it's ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Moving right into those lunges. Right foot forward, left foot back. Feet hips distance apart. Arms are coming laterally up to shoulder height and back down. For ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, set that left foot up, right foot back. Ten lunges here for ten, nine, eight, seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Standing up. Okay. The lunges with the with the hop. Right foot forward, left foot back. Left hand taps inner right ankle. For ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap it down, step it up. Other side, right hand to left ankle. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Tap it down. Stand up. All right. Plie squat with a forward raise. Feet wide. Lifting from your inner thighs and then squeezing your inner thighs together as you stand up. So we'll go ten and squeeze it together. Nine. Shoulders down and back. Eight. Seven, six. You want to be able to look 
down and see your big toe at the inside of your knee there. Four, three, two, and one. All right, heel toe together. We're gonna do the skis. All right, back and forth. Remember, you can take out the hop and make it a step touch or you can hop wider. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Oops, I think I took out that extra back. All right, hard squat with the lateral leg lift, working our glute meet, our outer hip, toes and knees pointing forward. For 10, nine, keep breathing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, right to the other side. Down and left. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, 10 burpees. Remember your options for the first one. You can step back and step up, stand up. You can hop back, you can add that push up, you can add the hop at the end. So you pick what's gonna feel right in your body today. Challenge yourself, but make sure again that you're listening to your body and don't go too far. All right, here we go. 10 at your own pace. 10. exercises before we bring it down to the floor. Let's take two deep breaths together. In and out. Again, in and out. All right, feet slightly wider than hips distance. Squat, leg lift. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, 10. If you have weights here, you can just hold them in your hands. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. To those skis, starting to the right. For 10, nine. Remember your options. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And back. All right. Plie squat. So, legs wide, toes and knees pointed up to the front corners of the room. Hips go straight down, adding that vertical lift with our arms. So, 10, 
nine, lifting from your inner thighs, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, heel toeing your feet back together, doing that uh, lunge, jump, left hand, right ankle for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, right hand to left ankle for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step touch. All right, almost there. We're gonna do our lunges, the lateral raises, right foot forward, left foot back. Railroad tracks here. Wide enough apart that our front knee isn't coming in front of our toes. If you're finding that it's too unstable to take your leg further back, just don't go down as far so that knee doesn't creep forward. All right? Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, switching sides, left foot forward, right foot back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last little bit of cardio. We're gonna do those squat jumps. So squatting it down, jump, land with bent knees, you can take the jump out and just come up on your toes if that's a better option for you today. 10 of them, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, step touch. Next we're gonna do our squats, tapping our elbows down, overhead press. Feet slightly wider than hips distance. Hips are going backwards a little more in your heels. Tapping your elbows down to your knees. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's step down. There we go. Go ahead, grab a sip of water. Not too much, because we don't want it jiggling around in our bellies, but a little sip here, because I know my throat is dry. We're gonna move on to some standing ab exercises. Then we're gonna bring it down to a few toning exercises on the floor before we do some abs and our pull down. All right. So, we're gonna start with our feet a little wider than hip distance here. We're gonna squat it down and we're going to twist to the left, right, and then as you stand, that right knee is coming up between your elbows. Um, so it's not crossing your body, it's different. It's up to the outside. So if you didn't have the arms, it would look like this, all right? So it's gonna be twist, twist, lift, twist, twist, lift. We're gonna do that for about 30
30 seconds. Starting right here. Twist, twist, lift. Twist, twist, lift. Go at your own pace. This is gonna get our heart rate up again. Don't forget to breathe. 30 seconds, we're halfway there. Five more. Give me one more set. Twist, twist, lift. Stop, touch. All right, our next exercise. It's gonna be a side stretch. So, right hand reaches up overhead, right foot reaches out to the side. Then we're gonna lift, elbow touches our knee. Stretch and lift, all right? Well, we're gonna do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. All right, let's wait a few more seconds for my stopwatch. Here we go. Stretch, tap, going at your own pace. Stretch, tap. Stretch, tap. If balancing is challenging for you, you can hold a chair, put your hand on the wall here. Anything to give you a little more stability. Stretch and tap. Stretch and tap. Woo, see? Stretch and tap. Stretch and tap. Give me two more. All right, 30 seconds on the other side. I'm just waiting for my stopwatch. We're gonna start in five seconds. Left hand overhead, left leg extends. And tap, reach, tap, reach, tap. Think of crunching that side. Just a reminder, nothing should be painful or stressful. So if it's too much, feel free to skip it. We just wanna keep moving so that your muscles don't cool and your heart rate doesn't fall too suddenly. Two more. Tap, tap, all right. Next one. So this one is called a side to side tap. It's a little bit goofy, but bear with me. Feet are gonna stay planted on the floor. Knees a little bit bent here so that there's a little, uh, a little mobility allowed there to protect our low back. We're going to clasp our hands together like this kind of thing. So I'm gonna stand here close to my camera for a second. We're going to start to the right with our right hand on top, come over to the left. When you bring it back, you're gonna flip so that your left hand's on top, bring it back. So again, knees are a little bit bent so that there's a little bit of mobility in our hips. But it's gonna come across, twist, and across. All right, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Go ahead, set it up, right hand on top, arms over to the right. Let's go right here, 30 seconds. Cross, flip, cross. So this is working our core. Think of engaging your abs here. So belly button in. You might start to feel this in your triceps a little bit too. Allowing your hips to rotate from side to side just a little bit so that you're not pinching in your low back. Knees moving forward and back. Let's do four, three, two, and one. All right. Let's take two deep breaths before we take it down to the floor. A nice deep inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. All right. We're taking it down to the floor. We're gonna start in our plank. A few options here. So first of all, we want our hands, our wrists, right underneath of our shoulders. So it's gonna be shoulders to the apartment. If you have tightness in your chest, a little bit wider is okay too. But we want our wrist creases parallel or slightly turned out to the front edge of our mat. The next, where our, sort of our options come in, you can be right here on your knees or up on your toes. So if you're on your knees, you wanna come from a plank and drop your knees down so they're right wherever they land and not up here under your hips so that your bum is sticking up, okay? So we're gonna do alternate arms and leg raises, 10 on each side. So you're gonna be in your plank, left arm, right leg lift, down, right arm, left leg lift, down. So I'll show you it 
here. It'll be, that's one. 10 of those, all right, remembering your options. Come up to your plank, and we'll do 10. We're trying to keep our hips from swinging side to side. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Almost there. One more on each side. All right, bring it down. Let's take a child's pose for a moment, stretching out our shoulders. Arms in front. Press your hands down, lifting your forearms up off the floor. All right. Our next exercise, we're going to do some supermans. It's going to work our back. So laying down to the floor. You can put your chin, your forehead down. Um, if it doesn't come all the way down to the floor, if that's uncomfortable for you, you can take a pillow or if you have a yoga block or a towel or something and place it under your forehead. It might make it a little bit more comfortable for you. Arms are gonna extend up overhead. We're gonna lift our body like we're flying like Superman. Arms are gonna come back, shoulder blades squeeze together, extend. And down, 10 of those. Join me when you're ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, shoulders away from your ears. Three. Two. Last one. You got it almost there. All right. We're going to roll over to our backs. Whichever way feels most comfortable for you. But we're all going to meet here. Feet or knees bent, feet flat to the floor. We're going to do a couple bridges here. You have a few options. Again, feet can stay flat to the floor. Your second option, or that would be your, um, sorry, your first option, the less challenging option would be right here. Second option, you're going to raise one foot up towards the sky, starting with your uh, right leg lifted. Left foot is going to be right out from your hip so that if you had your foot down, it'd be hips distance apart. We're going to press down to this foot, lift and lower our leg like you were going to stand on the ceiling for 10, 9, really going to feel this in your glutes and your hamstrings, 8, 7, 6, so you're pressing through that foot, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. All right, switching sides. Right foot down, left foot up. Again, if you had your feet planted the first time, you're just gonna do another set with both feet down. Left foot up, right foot planted down. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. All right. Go ahead, gently allow your knees to just rock back and forth from side to side for a second. All right. We're going to extend our feet down our mat. We're going to do roll-ups. So arms are going to extend up overhead. You're not using momentum here, so it's easy to kind of swing your arms up and pop up, but we want to use our core muscles. So our arms are going to lift up, and as they come up to like right up from your shoulders, 
You're going to scoop your belly in and roll up, sitting up nice and tall, rolling back down. All right, so we'll do 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Bringing your hips back down, 
and we're just gonna lower our knees over to the right. Arms can come out to a T. One more breath here. Inhaling your knees back up through center, exhaling them over to the opposite side. One more breath here. Inhale your knees back up through center. Left foot comes to the ground, right ankle over top of your left knee. Stretching through your outer hip here. If you can feel the stretch here, you can stay right here. If you need a little more, you can bring that left knee toward your left shoulder, clasping your hands behind your thigh, behind your hamstrings, or up and over that uh, shin. Feet flexed here, helping protect our knees.